And good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. If you are headed out this evening for uh, maybe uh, to watch the game or a friend's house or uh, doing whatever, it looks like it's a pretty decent evening. Now, this morning we are waking up with a mostly cloudy sky and temperatures been holding your steady right around 52 degrees with a light wind from the west at about three miles per hour. Most of our temperatures holding in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees. We have had some clearing out towards the west, even some patchy fog out towards Hillsboro. 46 right now. Beaverton, you're seeing some clear skies off to your west. 48 Vancouver right now at 50 degrees. And mid 40s out towards the coast, 48 in Salem. And check out Ben this morning, a chilly 32. So a frosty start for you. Now, we have been seeing a few showers over the Cascades this morning, generally just south of Sandy, over the Detroit area, down towards Mill City. And uh, this is where I expect most of the shower activity to hang through this morning. But as we go through the day, we might get a pop up shower coming in here in the valley. It's a very slight chance of that one, but some of the models are trying to indicate that. So you could follow the clouds along the Columbia River down towards the valley. Salem, mostly cloudy right now with some gradual clear. Even out towards the coast this morning. So here's your plan for today: 50, uh, lower 50s out the door. Again, as we go through the afternoon hours, we will see the chance of maybe a spotty shower developing with temperatures right around 65 degrees. And then for tonight, I do think we'll stay mostly clear. Our outlying areas will actually get down to the mid 30s. So just be aware that's going to be chilly night. Uh, pollen count today in the moderate stages. The ash, oak, and birch still up there. So those who are sensitive will feel that for the day. So as we look at the rain and cloud forecast, let's go ahead and advance through the afternoon hours. Notice how we see a few showers in the valley and over the Cascades. You'll notice some of these cumulus clouds building just a little bit with the cold air aloft. And then for tonight, we'll stay generally dry, mostly clear overnight. Tonight, a pretty cool start for you tomorrow morning. Again, outlying areas mid 30s around Portland, just about 40 degrees for us. So below average where we should be for this time of year. So expect to be about 58 in uh, Seaside, 57 in Newport, give or take a degree here. And with lows tonight, about uh, 44 degrees for you. And as we get to the valley today, mid 60s with a chance of an isolated shower. 37 for your overnight low in Salem and 36 for Ben Kelso. Upper 30s to near 40 degrees. Now east of the mountains today looking pretty good. We do have the chance of maybe a few showers developing throughout the daytime period, but a pretty decent day up towards Pendleton. 66 the Dow's. You will be quite breezy. We have the west winds that could gust up to around 35, maybe even up to around 40 miles per hour. But lows tonight in Madras and Ben, right around 30 degrees. Cascade Locks about 63 in Government Camp, 46. Snow levels today right around 5,500 feet. And again, uh, we are seeing some rain and snow showers, especially the higher up you go. So we'll see a mix of clouds and sun today with temperatures in the mid 60s. Tonight, Hillsboro and Beaverton into the mid 30s. I think that's going to be the coldest spot. Lake Oswego, 42. And east of the river today, temperatures near uh, 65. And then tonight, lows about 40 degrees and maybe a stray shower or so. East of, uh, or looking up towards Scapu, 64 today with a mix of clouds and sun. So again, a pretty decent day for us. That extended forecast will call for a warmer day for tomorrow as we have that ridge building in. Mostly sunny skies, but then the rain returns on Thursday and Friday. We'll see showers likely. Now, models are a little iffy coming in from Mother's Day. One model keeps us a little bit drier and building in a ridge. So, and then another one still keeps a little bit of a shower activity around. So, I'm going to call for some spotty showers for Mother's Day, but it does look like early next week we uh, warm up and dry out with temperatures near 70. Not the best weekend on tap, but a little better for Mother's Day. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Riley. All right. Thanks. And you are checking out all the slowing. It is about that time. Yes.